This is Episode 7 of Reset to Reach. Welcome back to Reset to Reach. Uh, We are continuing the discussion on the on the broader areas of a mission statement with the specific commands and instruction from the Word of God that connects to those. So reminding ourselves that the four broad areas in the example mission statement that we went through for the first five weeks has to do with exalting the Lord, grow in grace, edify one another, and go give the gospel. Now we go back to James chapter 1, verse 27, and we remind ourselves of that verse. Let me just say it one more time. Pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this, to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world. 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 says it this way, But as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all manner of conversation. I know that we have the blessing of the grace of God today. I know he's called us to freedom, to liberty, but not for the occasion to sin. Galatians chapter 5, verse 12 tells us that. So as we go through our walk here on this earth, we need to ask ourselves a question of self-evaluation. Am I living a life that is separated to God? I'm not saying that we're supposed to be walking around uh, looking like we belong dressed in the 1980s or the 70s. We can look up to date, but we can still be holy. Now, we can still be modest. We can still um, be separated to God. You say, I'm going to stick out if I'm like that. What better way can I exalt the Lord, give glory to him? Uh, 1 Corinthians 10.31 says it this way. Whether therefore ye eat or drink or whatsoever you do, do all to the glory of God. And so, yeah, we may stick out a little bit but we are the called out ones. That's what believers are. And we're not to be reflecting more and more of the world. We're supposed to be reflecting more and more of Christ. And they're opposite extremes. They're opposite directions of living life. One is called darkness. The other is called light. The Lord himself is the light of the world. John 8 verse 12. So As we look at our own lives and the call, the mission God's given us, how could I better exalt God? How could I better continue to exemplify growing in the Lord, growing uh, in grace, um, uh, encouraging others, and, and being something that's so different that I have a gospel witness that says, there's something different. I'm not like every other Joe. Um, I'm not like every other individual that you come across. There's a peace, there's a settledness, there's a joy, there's, a, there's the clarity of the fruit of the Spirit in my life because I'm controlled by the Spirit of God. Sin hinders that controlling. So as you look at the scriptures, you consider the commands of God, keep in mind that part of the mission God's given us is to live for Him and not self is to live for him and look like him and not the world. And that our target is Jesus himself. And we won't arrive as though we have nothing left to work on in our own lives until we're on the other side, till we're in glory. And so till that time, we continue to improve, to, to, to yield, to um, become more like Jesus Christ. Make that our pursuit. Dig into his word. Know him better. Spend more time in prayer. Memorize the word of God. Make that the saturation and the rehearsings of our hearts. And there will be a drawing to him. Psalm 37 verse 4 says, Delight thyself in the Lord and he will give you the desires of your heart. Make the Lord and his person your target in daily living.
separate yourself to him. That is part of the mission for his church today. I hope this is helpful and practical and helps you reset your focus to reach.